I'll never forget it. I took a trip down to the local Ikea to see what all the fuss was about. I couldn't believe the sheer size of this place. I'd never seen a store this big. It was like going on a ride at Disneyland. I mean, they even had maps of the store right by the entrance. They had everything you could ever want. They had tables, desks, pots, pans, things to sit on. It was awesome. But everything was really expensive. And I didn't even know what half of this stuff was, but I knew it was pricey. I just couldn't believe how many different things there were to look at at this store. It was incredible. The store just seemed to go on forever and ever. It was endless. I must have wandered around for God knows how long. But after a couple hours, it was pretty obvious that I was lost. And those exit signs were a lie. There was no exit in sight. Just more crap for you to look at. More crap for you to buy. I searched for longer than I can remember and could not find a single exit. Not even an emergency exit. After a while, my fear and frustration slowly turned into rampant paranoia. There were so many weird things in this store. Why were they here? What was the theme? What did they have to do with anything? I couldn't figure it out. Eventually, though, that paranoia turned into disorientation. Being trapped in a store this huge with so much stuff, it was difficult to keep my head on straight at times. Though eventually, I did get comfortable in my new surroundings. And after a couple days, I even started to accept my new life here. Once I got over the initial shock, it actually wasn't all that bad. This was actually a pretty cool place to live. Though, I soon discovered not everything was as it seemed here. And I was starting to get lonely. Real lonely. I really just wish I had someone to talk to. Someone to keep me from going crazy. And I really wish I would have grabbed one of those maps. Fortunately though, I didn't let my current predicament stop me from working. Unfortunately, they had free refills. I soon found new and different ways of passing the time and keeping myself amused. But after a couple weeks, I started to lose track of how long exactly I'd been trapped here. Then I started contemplating my future. What kind of life could I lead here? What kind of man could I become? I also started having the strangest dreams. One day as I was exploring, I stumbled across part of the store I never noticed before. And there was this weird, blinding light. It took me a moment before I realized what it was. 